My coffee has hit. My coffee has hit. I had a coffee and it hit. Hey, never give me coffee. Don't need it, but I like it. Welcome back to the cooking show in my apartment. I'm Faraday, and today we're making one of my favorite kind of childhood dinners, stuffed peppers. It's just a really good kind of every time meal. You can kind of flavor this any way you want. I'm kind of going with like an Italian-y kind of vibe to this. So there's, you know, Spanish stuffed peppers, there's the Balkans do a kind of stuffed pepper. Um, people, people love to stuff vegetables, let's be honest here. Jalapeno poppers. We're putting in different meats, some rice, some cheese. Spoiler alert. It ends up tasting like pizza, if I'm being completely honest. The seeds are gone. I saved the trimming off the top. I'm gonna cut this up so that we don't waste it. Look at that. If you'd cut that, if you'd thrown all that away, that's so much. Save it all. We're going to cut up our onion. Everybody has tricks for cutting onion, okay? And people keep saying like, do this, do that. So what I do, my trick is usually I run it under cold water, if I'm being completely honest. And I run my knife blade under cold water. I'm a sensitive girl, okay? So it makes me cry. Don't judge me. Onions release some kind of chemical, okay? Called synthase or I don't know what the hell. Anyways, everyone reacts differently to it. I'm a baby. I'm a bigger baby than most of you guys, obviously. Um, I'm okay with that. But thank you for all of your tips. Everyone has a different method and I appreciate that. All right, we're gonna roughly chop our garlic, two cloves of garlic in here. Okay, so we're add some basil in here too. We've got everything here ready for our, our stuffed peppers. We've got our arborio rice. So where does our arborio rice come from, kids? Arborio. Italy. Where is that not? Sicily. Take a drink. We're gonna cook our rice. We're gonna put all this together back here and then stuff our peppers. It's literally couldn't be any simpler. So a few tablespoons of oil in there. Okay, this is getting nice and hot. I'm gonna add my, those guys as we go. Just softening this up. So I'll add some salt. Salt's gonna help it soften. It's gonna help it release its moisture. This is definitely one of those like kind of classic dishes I feel like that I grew up eating. You can make this into your own though. You could make it flavored however you want to. Literally you could take whatever you want and put it in here and it's gonna be good. And if it's not, you'll leave yourself the blame. Not me. If you follow this recipe though, you'll be happy. It'll be good. We're gonna add our ground pork, our sausage. Just break it up into smaller pieces with your wooden spoon as you go. Are you honestly not going to play Beat Me Karaoke? Beat Me Karaoke! What song shall I play? Christmas in July! Beat Me Karaoke truly is just, just the best. It's how karaoke was invented. Okay, my meat is beaten and karaoke'd out. So I'm going to add my garlic right on in there. And we're gonna add in all of our herbs. Onion powder, garlic salt, oregano, chili flakes. Okay, so all of our dry herbs go on in there. There's nothing better. I mean, yes, there is something better of, than the smell of <laughs> onion powder and garlic salt is real onions and garlic. But I think that you're adding to that, that kind of flavor in here. You're enhancing a little bit by adding the dried stuff. The chili flakes I think are not really nice. Dried oregano. I'm also gonna add in fresh basil. If you have fresh oregano, add in fresh. I just kind of love that I don't know, it just, the dried herbs kind of really make it feel more homey to me. I'm going to add in my white wine. I'm just gonna deglaze it a little bit. It's gonna make, add a nice flavor. Our wine has basically evaporated from here. We are going to add in our arborio rice, our short grain rice. Um, we're gonna add in some chicken stock and a can of diced tomatoes. This is gonna come to a boil. So the rice is raw, everything right now. It's gonna absorb, we're gonna cook it for 18 minutes exactly. And let it rest for five minutes before we stir in the Parmesan cheese and the basil. Okay. Yo. This shit tastes like pizza. <laughs> it's so good. You could literally just eat this as is out of the pot. It's delicious right now. Toss that with like, you could toss this with like spaghetti, almost like bolognese. It's delicious. We're gonna take it one step further though. 
stuff it into our peppers. It's gonna be good. Oh man, that's good. I've got my peppers here, ready to roll. I put them in this little cast iron. You can put them in any baking dish you want. You know me, I've got a real hard on for those cast iron skillets. Couldn't be easier. So we've got the Parmesan cheese in there, the basil, all the rice. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, looking good. Don't worry, I've, I've been snacking on this cheese too. Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Cheese isn't going on it yet, people. Faraday. Okay. <laughs> I got a little carried away. <laughs> First, I'm gonna cover this with foil, bake it for 10 or 15 minutes, let the peppers cook a little bit. Then I'm gonna take off the foil and add the cheese and bake it until the cheese is melted. Into the oven, it goes. Whew. 15 minutes. Away we go. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna put the cheese on. Oh yeah. Oh. Ah. Yes, we do it. Snack and cheese. Oops. A little bit of mutts on top. Okay, we got our cheese all over and I made a huge mess with all the cheese, but it's okay. We'll just eat it. Ooh, look at that. It's gonna go into the oven. Back in another 10 minutes or so. Look at that. Just until the cheese melts. Okay. Holy hell, look at these bad boys. Oh my God. It's also a really good arm workout. <sighs> okay, it's eating time. Let's try this guy out. Pepper is cooked nicely. Like open it all up. Oh man, just look at this. It's so good, so freaking hot. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna definitely burn my mouth. Just the way it goes in the cooking show. Mm -hmm. That's so good. It tastes like pizza. This literally tastes like pizza. And I think it kind of has all of my favorite things that you would put in the pizza. The onion, the red pepper, the meat, the cheese, the parm, the basil, the oregano. It's got all those things. This is the kind of thing you like make, have some friends over, have a salad with this, like keep it really simple. Mm. For the recipe, click the link below. Delicious.